All right, you guys, I did a video. I always do videos on this, but I wasn't 100% sure. We know that in January, Primetime Treasure Hunter announced that the USPS will be increasing rates as always. That's typically death, taxes, and the USPS raising rates in January, pretty much a given. So we knew that, but last year, remember, they did an October um, holiday increase, and then on like December 26th or 27th or whatever, it came back down, and then back in January 23rd, I think it was, it went right back up. So I was like, joop holiday pricing boom you're back down nope back up for january they're gonna do the same thing this year looks like the price increase is gonna happen on october 5th for third or for fourth quarter so we're august september october less than two months you're gonna get a price increase for the holiday season from october 5th till the week after christmas then it will fall back down and then in the middle of january we will have another price increase right back up to where it was during the holiday price increase give or take they're usually a little different but that seems like the uh story for the day and the postmaster lewis DeJoy, announcing last week if you didn't see it i believe dominic covered this also um 50 000 jobs from the usps are going to be wow but he says they're in perfect position to handle the fourth quarter holiday shopping with a slight decrease in e-commerce and to handle all of the mail-in ballots and voting ballots for the primaries here in November. Of course, we will be voting in a lot of politicians and lawmakers in just a couple of months as well. So he says the post office is in perfect shape to handle that during November and the fourth quarter holiday shopping. They couldn't handle it last year for just one and there was no election last year. The election was two years ago. How in the he how in the H-E double hockey sticks are they going to handle both of it during a primary this year and holiday shopping and getting rid of 50,000 employees and increasing the price? I Look, I know the guy was appointed by Trump. I don't approve of everything any politician does. But this, no matter who elected this guy, the USPS has had problems long before Donald Trump. They'll continue having problems long after him. But let me tell you something, guys. This guy, Louis DeJoy, a huge mistake. He is just a horrendous guy. And look, nobody's perfect. Nobody can hire the perfect employees and nobody can get it right. But this guy gets everything wrong. I, how is he still, doesn't he have to be like voted out by the board of governors of, of postmaster governor general? I, there's some way to get rid of this dude. That he needs to, he needs to go. He's got to go. Like he's, he's horrible. Anyways, I'll take you over, show you the story. And then you guys can leave your comments and questions and stuff down below. As always, I'll read them. I'll check them out and I'll answer as many as possible. And I appreciate you taking the time. If you do leave a comment, if I don't get to you, I, I'm really sorry, but I'll, I'll try my best. Let's go check out the story right now. Let's thank the sponsor of today's video, My Reseller Genie, Paul and Faith. They have the best accounting and inventory control software that helps you track your sales, profits, expenses, and even your estimated tax bill, along with tracking your inventory, all from one place. And you can access it anywhere you have an internet connection. They have two great plans available, and make sure you check them out in the link in the description below and use the code to save 15% Rockstar Flipper 15. Okay, so here we are on Money Watch. USPS says it's hiking the prices for the holiday shipping starting in October by Amy Peachy. This is uh, August 11th, so today at 7.15 p.m. she posted this. The U.S. Postal Service has an early holiday message for people planning to send gifts to friends and family later this year. Be prepared to pay more. Well, obviously we know that. The USPS is adding a peak season rate hike this year which it says will keep the USPS competitive while providing the agency with the revenue to cover the extra costs in anticipation of peak season volume. What is the extra cost? Hiring other employees? This is an every year thing. It's not like it's something new. I don't understand. In the Wednesday statement, the Postal Service didn't specify which extra cost it's anticipating. Although the price of fuel and labor have risen consider considerably this, uh, since a year earlier. The extra costs will be slapped on packages starting as soon as October 2nd. The other post I saw, uh, saw said October 5th, but this one says October 2nd, which may strike some as early for the holiday shipping. Some people would think so, but October 2nd or October 5th, whichever, is the beginning of fourth quarter. That's when people are shipping. You can't wait until December 2nd or December 5th. That's like last minute, right? Because you got to get shipping done. But October, November is when most people shop for Christmas, so... That's it. Uh, it ends on January 22nd. So it actually is not ending at the end of December like normal. It's ending almost a month later after Christmas. Um, while the USPS said that the price hikes are similar to previous years, the extra shipping costs could add to the financial pressures hitting many family budgets as inflation remains near a 40-year high, touching everything from gasoline to grocery costs. 
Um, well, we know who we can thank that for. Uh, the USPS said that it's charges, some of the lowest mail postage rates in the industry, which is true on first class and some other padded flat rates, uh, and continues to offer great values in shipping. It added that international products will not be affected by the seasonal adjustment. Please explain this to me. We have to pay more to ship it from Florida to Colorado, but shipping it overseas, no, that won't cost any extra money. Don't worry, guys. We can ship it to China for free. We can ship it to Ukraine for like three cents. Somebody, somebody explain to me why it's always more beneficial to the rest of the world and not our own country. Why do we look out for the rest of the world and not ourselves? Somebody explain. Yes, I'm going off on a rant, but you know what? It's complete BS, and I'm, I'm sick of us being last and the rest of the world being first. Meanwhile, the USPS in July increased the price of first class forever stamps less than a year after it boosted the price of postage. The new price is 60 cents, up from 58 cents, which the USPS said is lower than the rate of inflation. Yeah, it's lower than the rate of inflation, but it's still a more expensive price. The Postal Service is raising rates amid a financial crunch, which Postmaster General Louis DeJoy on Tuesday telling the Postal Service Board of Governors that the USPS could lose up to $70 billion dollars over the next decade. That's significantly lower than the US's, uh, USPS's early projection of about $160 billion, but still signals that the service needs to take immediate and substantial action. Among, among those actions are to align our service and price to win new revenue in the marketplace. More price hikes are to come. DeJoy said that the inflation has hit the nation hard and the Postal Service has not avoided its impact. The increase in prices will add more than a billion dollars in costs to the USPS planned 2022 budget, noting that he's recommending another price hike in January, which we know about. And then that's the rest of the story. So anyways, comment below. Let me know what you think. God, this just infuriates me to no end. I'm not saying that they shouldn't raise prices. People raise prices, inflation. But God, it's because half of the time it's the other countries in this world that are benefiting and we are not. Take care of your own. You can't, like, this is an old saying I learned a long time ago from Drive Time with Dave. You can't take care of others until you can take care of yourself. Like, if you can't pay for your own crap and your own stuff and then have stuff left over, how are you going to pay for somebody else? I just, I don't understand. Anyways, that is the story. That is the video. That is what I have for you guys. And hopefully I can get some good comments out of you. Leave them down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.